Hello, sweeties. Nana Tazzy here, and I have a special, special treat. I have been eyeballing the flow book for paper lovers or for quite some time now, since the very first flip through I saw, um, I knew I'd own one eventually. <laughs> um, but the mister found this for me from the Flow website, and they've got several, uh, depending on if you're in the States, the Netherlands, um, I think there's one for Germany, I think the other one's the UK, possibly, I'll have to find out, and I'll attach all those, um, all the links to all the websites in the description box below, but he didn't just find this one, pardon my nails, I've been painting, again, he found this massive kit and it is called the mindfulness journaling pack large okay but he found look at these look 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 i am so <laughs> you guys so tickled this is my third attempt at shooting this video because something always goes wrong but i really want to i really want to share it with you i do and i wish you could all just touch touch all the paper okay so we the whole set it was 50 some dollars before shipping it's the flow book for paper lovers it's one of the flow magazines which oh my god oh my god amazing i may look into a future subscription at some point in time but it's oh it's gorgeous came with a flow notebook for paper lovers this one I'll flip through right now. There's a little notebook, but it's all um, just notebook papers. There's a handful of stickers, um, and there's all different sorts of papers. Oh, these ones are a cross between, let's see, well, they're thicker than, it's not tissue paper. It's uh, more of a packing paper or um, fish and chip paper that kind of thing. Um, the marker cards in between are cardstock and this one has very fine grid, like very fine, I didn't even notice it my first time through. Um, that one's cardstock and get just, oh I just wish you could touch them. I will touch them on your behalf because I love you. <laughs> okay so that's that one. This is the actual um, Flow magazine, and I will seriously, I have to show you, they put a window cling in this one, so you peel it and stick it to your window, that is so cool, like, I giggled the first time I saw that, it was amazing. Look, they have Matisse in here, I have to show you. Just go like so. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The way they showcase artists is amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Tons of stuff we can cut up and use. If anybody makes these things, they're little matchbox art girls. But they've got all the little movie parts. If anybody makes these, please let me know. We'll have to do a trade or a swap or something because that's cool. I don't know who that is actually. Ada Kando. Kando? Oh goodness. She's a famous ph photographer. Um, all sorts of goodies, all sorts of goodies. Stuff you can cut up and use, lots to read. This I loved. It's an art journaling bit with why and how. Um, it's the Tiny Pleasures Art Journal with examples and tips. But yeah, they show you how to get started and give you creative prompt types. Well, not so much prompts. Um, if you come across a paper you like but you don't want to use it right away, then save it in a special place, sort it into piles, blah, 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 blah. Um, not sure where to begin, just keep a diary, scribble in it five minutes a day, and then they've got all different printed papers to uh, get you started. How cute is that? 
like adorable and the size is amazing i'm usually working like my giant journals this might be fun though might be fun okay um yeah this was their bit all on uh art journals look how amazing oh like delicious okay do you know who that is I almost wet myself when I saw it. I was like, no way. That is Pablo Picasso. And this picture, it says, was from 1955. How cool is that? Because when you think Picasso, at least when I do, I think way back when. Way, way, way back when. But 1955, this was taken. Blew my mind. Mind blown. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, artist showcase things here. It's adorable. How cute is that? This was the first one. I almost wet myself and this right here convinced me that um if this is something they do, if they showcase a beloved, famous anybody's in the artist world, um, this right here is reason enough to do a subscription when I can. This is Frida. This is her self-portrait. Oh, what does she call it? Does have a name. It's her and her husband. Me twice is what she called it. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's Frida in her studio. How epic is that? And the feel connected. Love it. This is beautiful. This is one of my favorite things to ever see. Um, I had a sunflower grow in the front yard in between the, the concrete right off the porch here. And I let it grow and it got taller than the porch. Um, but it is a definite reminder from nature to bloom where you, you're planted. Bloom wherever the wind has taken you. But these are cute. Cute, cute. Okay, so that's the magazine. Okay, what next? What next? Oh, it came with um, a bunch of these uh, paper bags, which you could use in journals or whatever. I'm using them as, or going to use them as luminarias. Um, you fold the top down on the paper bag and put a little bit of sand in the bottom to keep it weighted, and then you put a um, What's the next size up from the tea light candles? I'm not sure if they're still tea light candles. Anyhow, they're about yay tall. Um, and you put your sand in there, put your um, candle in there, light it and when it gets dark, and light up the whole um, walkway or wherever you've got them set out. The local college does this every Christmas. Decorates the entire campus, buildings, walkways, just everywhere. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of them and it's beautiful so take sandwich bags and make some luminarias if you want to know how to do those hit me up and I'll do a separate video okay this book I'm very very excited about I had no idea it existed and I love workbooks this one is a mindfulness workbook they've included the um bookmark in here with the, the hole there and you just pull it out and attach it and you have a place saver. They've also included sticky notes and they get you started with where to stick them because there's workbooks throughout. Uh, let's see. But yeah, they've got different sections. This is part three and then towards the back there, there's the workbook for part three. How cute is that? questions, answers, some of them are more, um, you fill it in, stuff to take time, relax. I may or may not do a flip through of this when I get it done. I don't know if I want to actually write in the book. It is so precious. But at the same time, I don't want to uh, not use it because it's awesome. You know? Uh, it's got little journaling cards in here, which I absolutely love, like Project Life cards. I did hear that um, 
I guess for a time there at Hobby Lobby or wherever, they had a box of a thousand Project Life cards. Man, I didn't even know that was a thing. What's the problem with being late to the party? Oh, this um, hearts everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but I always see hearts everywhere I go. All the love. And thankfully I'm not the only one, because they've documented it now. Isn't that wonderful? Love is everywhere. But yeah, all different sections. Um, breaking it all down, and then they've got the little um, workbook at the end. Questions, answers, um, really go in deep. So I don't know, uh, depending on how in-depth that is, I don't know if I'll do a flip through or not, but I am excited to read and do this book. Like, crazy good. Why do we always feel hurried? Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Yes, this, this is perfect timing for me. And some of the images I've gotten here are absolutely amazing. So I'm excited about that one. Didn't even know it existed, and I'm so glad that it does. And I'm really loving not just the quality of all their papers. They've got the fabric spine, the, the fabric tape on the spine. Um, way back in the day, that used to be on the um, composition notebooks my dad used to get for work, which I used to steal all of. Um, which I think that's where my love of paper came from. Anywho, this one, um, it's the Four Times Flow Journal. It's writing and sketching journals with insights, inspiration, to-do lists, tiny pleasures, and lots more. Um, each journal has its own theme. Oh, that's right. Um, so this one's the joy of making lists. This one is Homemade Happiness, How to Slow Down, and A New Beginning. Let's start at A New Beginning. Okay. And they're just little bitty. Unfortunately, they're not the right size for the Traveler's Notebook cover that I just made. They're a little wider, so I'm going to have to make another one. Because <laughs> I want all these kept together. Uh, moments I hope to celebrate, places I'd like to see, people I people I would like to spend a day with, books I would like to read, yada yada yada, let's see, shopping list, these are cute, these are throughout all of these, it's the tiny pleasures list that you get to check off as you do them, there's a buy a postcard that cheers you up and pin it above your desk, a nice cup of coffee, because that's always good, smile at a stranger or receive a smile from one, that's always good, okay I shouldn't say always good, that's usually good, <laughs> Um, lose yourself in something. How can we not? A flea market, secondhand store, Etsy, eBay score. And yeah, they've just got little little wisdoms and plenty of places to write and stick things. How cute are these? The beginning is always today. Oh. That's cool. And yeah, they've got the, um, from the sketchbook off, they've got the artist a little bit there, and that's hers. Yeah, and different papers, again, um, the paper changes slightly throughout the notebook. Let's see, how cute is that? And I know some of you actually spend time and do this, or, you know, go and do nature studies and whatever. I could look at an entire book of this that somebody's done, whether it's um, plants and foliage, whether it's uh, actual uh, trees, different types of trees and whatever, um, animals, so flora and fauna, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I don't take the time to do this myself. I'm not sure why, but I love to look at it. I could have entire books of this and just look at it. And then to use this type of thing in collage, ah, magical. Magical. Oh, they've got little recipes too throughout. Like um, the magazine also had a bunch of recipes in it, which I thought was amazing. Apologize for the truck going past just now. 
but each of these has their own little themed inspired things wish list for my day off wait this was the uh, how to slow down maybe I should start with this one <laughs> flowers I would like to plant in my garden or on my balcony um, in the last six, year, six years I've been at this house we've turned front and backyard from dirt into an Alice in Wonderland garden so I think we're doing okay See, tiny pleasures list. Sleep in, catch up with a friend, on the sofa, under a blanket, which right now sounds so good. So good. Um, a well-stocked cupboard. Love that. Draw or paint something. Um, check. <laughs> oh, I love that. Love the paper. Love to feel it. Okay. All that truly matters in the end is that you loved. How true is that? That one's cute too. Yeah, look, today is a party. Cut out the flags, place a colored string in the middle, fold in half, and glue the sides together. Now you have a line of happiness. How cute is that? nature fact. See? People do these and they've got some printed. They're barely... I don't know if you can be able to see in this light. I don't know. I was trying to get this done earlier today but um, uploading and editing have taken longer than I wanted to today. Focus on what matters and let go of what doesn't. Amen. Not now. This week I am not going to do. I have never seen a not going to do list that I can recall. And I'm intrigued as to how they work. Uh, is that not the weirdest thing? I think I'm going to have to try one. See things I'm not going to do. I don't know if that counts the same as things I don't get done. Uh, those just kind of migrate forward. Tiny pleasures I would like to cherish more. This is the homemade happiness. There was a bit in here that tickled my soul. Okay. Tiny pleasures list. Baking, share a comfortable silence, hear the wind blowing while you're inside. I liked that detail. Drinking from your favorite mug. Absolutely. Enjoy some time out with your diary. I need to do. I've got all these journals I keep making and I don't spend time writing in them. Creativity requires the courage to let go of certainty. How cool is that? To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Audrey Hepburn. This page here, this tickled me so much. It says, may the force be knit you. This made me giggle. But these little tags, it says made by me and you could attach them, you know, stiffen up the back or whatever and attach them to your knitted goods or whatever your thing is. I knit. I've been knitting for 30... Oh lord. 30 some years. 4? 34 years? Wow. Creepy. Look how beautiful. How do you start making something yourself? And above all, how do you finish it? little bit every day. Learn from your mistakes. Right? How cute is this? Start with good materials, practice, and more practice. Don't compare yourself to others. See, it's not just me, I'm telling you. <laughs> love, love, love these. Love them, love them, love them. Oh, this was a cute um, activity. I actually learned this in like, third grade art or whatever. If you're trying to draw from a picture, turn the picture upside down and then draw it. Because the way your brain sees this when it's upside down, it's just shapes. When it's this way, it's still just shapes, but your brain's telling you house, tree, walkway, grass. And your brain will scream at you if you get anything even slightly wrong because that's not a house, that's not a tree, blah, blah, blah. Turn it upside down and then it's just shapes. You can do this shape. You can do this shape. 
and it's so much easier. That being said, I'm not very practiced at it and don't do a lot of drawing, but that's because I get bored too easily. It's a couscous recipe. Love couscous. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a teeny, teeny, tiny pasta, and it's amazing. Okay, so, and the last one, and then I'll go back through very quickly the Paper Lover's Journal. This is the joy of making lists. Whoever describes chaos sets things right. Bergman was a Dutch poet. Okay. Quotes that make me happy, the most important people in my life, the favorite, my favorite ways to spend a Saturday morning, ten books that have changed my life. Oh, that's a good one. Music that makes me feel calm. Oh, need way more paper than that. Shopping list. Tiny pleasures again. Graph paper. This is cute. I liked this. Show me your list and I'll tell you who you are. How hilarious is that? Very, very clever. Yeah. Well, how to do doodly things. How to make a fresh cup of coffee using a, is a mocha, mocha pot. I'm not familiar with that particular thing. I use my regular old drip coffee pot and my Keurig. Yes, I use both. It's been times in my life I've had to just boil hot water on the stove to make coffee. And you know what? It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Video's done uploading. Well, exporting. Now I've got to upload it. Holiday list. That's what I need to start doing. Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Every year we grow sunflowers, and usually I grow the giants. The heads on them are about this big. They're bigger than my, my torso. And I feed the birds. One year I, I made sunflower seeds, but um, usually I just feed the birds sunflowers all winter. Okay. Here's the big, big, big flow book for paper lovers. I'm going to go real quick because there's so many flip-throughs already. Um... I did like, they've got little bitty tissue paper stars in the front, thought that was amazing. I won't try and get everything back in here. And yeah, Irene and Astrid, you two are amazing. Oh, and this is the um, English and Dutch version, just in case you were wondering, which I love. A bunch of the artists that contributed, and more of the artists that contributed that I need to look up. Okay, Print Studio. The record players, aren't they fun? Yeah, I really didn't want to do this at this time of day because the sun is right there. Here, yeah, fronts have a little doodle, backs have the matching pattern. Got tags. I love that everything coordinates. This is amazing. These right here. The type of art I would love to be able to do, but I'm far too heavy-handed and d just don't have the patience for. These are embossed, and I believe these are, uh, yeah, they're actually um, postcards. I'm not likely to use them as postcards proper, though, but they will be showing up in journals, you bet your money. Envelopes. And see the printed front and back, so this will be the inside. Or you could make it the outside, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. These are amazing. Oh. And the feel of this paper, just, oh, it's luscious. Absolutely beautiful. 
Now I'd put off getting this book for a really long time because it, it is very expensive for those of us that don't have, you know, not budgets. But big things have small beginnings. It's a fold-out typewriter. How adorable is that? But if you've been holding off on getting this book, definitely save up and get it, you guys. It's awesome. We've got the uh, alphabet stickers. And these ones on the first page have all the tiny little, um, the little doodly alphabets that half us do not take the time to practice or do. They are cute though. And they're tiny. Tiny, tiny. Uh, more stickers, more stickers, more stickers. And I love that the back of the sticker sheets are patterned paper as well. You could totally use that. These are gorgeous. And it's just a little bit of watercolor. I think that's the part that fascinates me the most, what you can do with a little bit of watercolor. I appear to be too heavy-handed for watercolor. <laughs> I'll get there someday when I'm a grown-up. More paper studio. And these ones are um, heavy cardstock. Look at these. Look. <laughs> these were hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, my favorite part about this is this is music paper. And she's using a regular typewriter. So I don't know who set up these photo shoots, but they're funny. These are vellum papers. And behind them, these ones here, let's see if I can get this right. These ones here are all tissue paper. And I still don't know how they've got them in here without a fold or a crease or anything. It's amazing. Oh, I never put those back. Told you, I've done this flip through a couple times now just to get it done. But these are wrapping papers. Aren't they gorgeous? And it's yay much. And I'm not likely to use them as wrapping paper because they're just too much fun. So, yeah. They'll probably be in a, a journal at some point as well. Okay, I will stick those back how I had them. Uh, stickers. We go with those sets of papers. Oh, this section here. Ah. Yeah, that was a bunch of them. This section here, these are all colored papers and they've got funky names. Uh, Goddess of Dawn Saffron. An Orchard of Apple Blossom Pink, Ocean Treasures Coral, Stay Balanced and Serene Amethyst, A Lemon Tart Lemon, that cracked me up, uh, A Breath of Fresh Air Blue, Waiting for Shooting Stars Midnight, Soft Leather Bag Tan, Himalayan Salt Pink, Sage Wafting in the Breeze Green, <laughs> uh, Mediterranean Olives Green, Cheeks flushed with joy pink. The sweet taste of butterscotch. Which actually, just the name of that makes me want butterscotch. Uh, not a cloud in sight sky. A row of potted plants terracotta. Blue moon gray. Be still my beating heart red. Dream on holiday. Oh, dream. You're on holiday bougainvillea pink. Which I love bougainvillea. A little ray of sunshine yellow, mother's string of pearls white, country cottage kitchen blue, get sketching charcoal, spring has sprung wisteria violet, and harvest moon orange. But I thought those were great. And look, this is one of my favorite pieces in this whole book. It's heavy cardstock, and it's, oh, it's so lovely. Such a lovely painting. Just, yeah. This also, and you'll notice the art is very different from this one to this one. 
I don't care. I love it. This still tickles my soul. How could it not? I just love art, I think. Oh, this is going up in here somewhere. Relax. Nothing is under control. <laughs> oh. Uh, it amuses me. This was adorable too. It's a little fold out with the house there and it says, let's stay home, which I am all about, all about staying home. This section here, uh, whatever floats your boat, on the back of this one, so there's little paper boats, on the back of this they tell you how to make them and then all of these papers here are printed to cut out as paper boats and fold. So you got little sailors. Isn't that cute? But these are all paper boats to make, uh, origami style, which I loved. These butterflies have um, pop-up wings, so you can do a three-dimensional piece. And I will do one in a color that is not white just to make sure you can see it, because I just now thought about that. Oh, so precious, so precious. Okay. But how cute is that? They're still attached. But yeah, now it's a three-dimensional piece. Love it. And itty bitty baby books, which you guys know that I love little bitty stuff. Well, the little bitty books I love. This one's got tiny graph paper, like micro graph paper. This one's plain paper, and that one was lined. Okay, and then we've got all the months. Let's see, sorry, I got paint on my shirt months ago, and it's still throwing me off like, oh, I've got crap on my shirt. <laughs> It's distracting me. I am terribly easily distracted, however. These are great. There's so many ideas. I'm not sure where to start with this book. And this was the one I had wanted for Christmas, but the mister found it, and I recently achieved the first step in a lifelong... Not really a goal, a lifelong dream. Um... So yeah, he found this and got it for me long before Christmas as a congratulations type thing, which I thought was awesome. This is clever. Letters that you're more likely to use are backed by letters that are less likely to be used. This book is designed by paper lovers for paper lovers. I shit you not. This is amazing. Very, very well done. See, and they've got them all, all over the place. Took me a minute to figure this out, because this is cool. Big fold out, it's heavy duty paper stock, or card stock. Um, and it's really, really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, well that's cool. And then I tucked it back up and flipped the page and noticed the matching stickers. There's two pages of stickers. You take these stickers and make a scene on this stuff. How cool is that? Very clever, I tell you. Okay, back to papers. Oh, this book is so thick, you guys. These are amazing. Just the feel of the paper. Absolutely amazing. Uh, there's more wrapping papers. These are double-sided again. Um, see if I can't do this. And I love these. I don't know when I fell in love with circles. Not so much polka dots proper, but circles and dots. Um, but somewhere along the way I have, and I didn't realize it until I was going through this paper pack. These are gorgeous. See me? Like, I love those. And these, I just, I think it's where the colors overlap, it just is awesome. 
This one's filled with record players of all sorts and the old telephones. Yeah. It's going to be too much fun. I'm telling you, too much fun. Then we've got postcards. And these are the coolest stickers. They're just little artsy painted on. I'm going to have to try and do art on pre-cut label stickers um, and see if I can't shrink my art down. That's really a cool idea though. These ones they made glittery and they're the old school ladies and stuff. So yeah. And oh these are all, let's see, black and white on one side and followed and patterned and followed by um, a color variant stripe on the other side and some a horizontal some uh, vertical but they're all gorgeous 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 papers I love double-sided paper until I have to put paper on like a cardboard backing or something oh I almost forgot in the back of this you get three of these epic epic envelopes which I also love and in this tricky little thing was this guy all folded up. How stinking cute is that? I glued it together because the double sided tape was being ornery. So um, I fixed it and now it's hanging off my editorial calendar so I see it and it makes me happy. Okay. This video is going to be crazy long and I'm sorry but there really is so much stuff. But this is the mindfulness. Wait. I'm going to get it wrong. Mindful, mindfulness Journaling Pack Large. It's the 2017 journal pack from Flo. And I will put all the links for this down below. But if you guys, if you get the chance, at least check out their website. Because it's amazing. Just so pretty. And yeah, I'm, I can't wait to make things. I have several projects ahead because I didn't plan on this, but I'm so very thankful and so very, very blessed. And on that note, I'm going to leave you guys here. Thanks for being here. Love you. Bye-bye.